active medicine, and that is vaginitis. So again, where was this published? It was in JAMA Insights, June 2022. So let's see what is vaginitis. And it's defined as inflection or inflammation of the vagina. 70% of causes of vaginitis are attributed to vulvovaginal candidiasis, bacterial vaginosis, or trichomonias. And these are the commonest causes that we will see in our practice. What are the symptoms we come up with? And the, one of the main aspects that you see here is that the symptoms often do not correlate with the diagnosis. And that's the reason why they're not that important. And clinical diagnosis is often done through investigations. Initially, it comes up as vulva pyritis. It may come with or without discharge. Now, the next is, Let's look at this slide. It's quite a busy slide, but it gives a nice summary of, of what is happening. So in bacterial vaginosis, what do you see? You see uh, fishy odor discharge, which is uh, you know, grayish type, minor irritation, and you could try and do a wet mount, and that's uh, that explanation you'll find in the slide itself. The preferred medications are again metronidazole, oral or vaginal, and clindamycin vaginal. Alternative medicines again are clindamycin, trinidazole, which is oral, and if they're pregnant and lacta or lactating, then you do metronidazole. And again, treatment of partners is not recommended, and condom use often may decrease recurrence. With trichomonias, you see a greenish yellow frothy discharge, which may be symptomatic. And you do it with a nat vaginal swab. Treatment again is metronidazole, and you give it approximately for 500 milligram twice a day for se seven days, and that is, or a two gram orally dose may also be given. Again, treatment is indicated, and the treatment of partners is also indicated. If you look at candidiasis again, you're looking at white thin discharge which may be clumpy itchy irritation and again you can do it to the wet mount the treatments could be fluconazole or any of these antifungal medication meconazole or in fact you can give an alternative medication of terconazole which is 80 milligrams suppositories into the vagina and again, clotomazole and meconazole can be given uh, if you decide to uh, g give it through the vaginal uh, route. And again, treatment of partners is not recommended. So, why is this important? And often this is important mainly because it's a commonest infections and in, that you see in our clinics. So that's in short about vaginitis and uh, something which you can uh, take through. If at any doubt, then go back to uh, this chart and that this chart gives you a much clearer idea about